In this video, I will show you how to create a landing page on system.io. So this is a great tool to do this because you can use it completely for free. And I'll show you how you can create a high converting landing page, whether it is to grow your email list, collect leads or whatever else you are creating your landing page for. I'll show you how you can very easily and for free do it using system.io. So you can start with my link down in the description completely for free. And first I want to take a look at their pricing right here. So you only need to pay for a plan to get more context and basically more of everything and in the free plan you get basically everything you will need if you have a pretty small email list under 2000 so just go ahead and create your account with the link down in the description and then what you want to do is click on funnels right here and now here in the top right click on create now in order to create a funnel first you want to give it a name I will name mine landing page now you want to choose your funnel goal. So this can be to build an audience, which means that you collect email addresses and build your email list. This can be to sell a product or service. You can build a custom funnel from scratch, or you can run an evergreen webinar. So this helps you automate your business. For me, it is to collect email addresses and build my email list. So I'm going to select the top left one right here. Now here, select your currency and go ahead and click on save. Now your funnel has been successfully created and now you want to just click on the funnel right here and then it will open it up. Now first you will need to choose a template and they have some really amazing templates. For example this one right here I quite like. I'm just going to find a template that I like most and pick that one. So for example I will pick this one right here. You can also simply preview the template by clicking on that. I'm just going to select this one. So now you want to name this page. So I am only building one page, which is the landing page. So I will just name it page. And now here you can enter the URL path. So the name of the page you can enter right here. For example, if I set this to page, then this will now be the URL. I will also show you how you can connect your custom domains so that you don't need the system.io domain later in this video. So once you have picked a template, what you can do is click edit page right here. And that will take you to the actual editor. Now this is a very simple basic drag and drop editor. Now in most tools such as MailChimp and other landing page building tools that help you do this, you will need to pay for a feature like this, but in system.io it's completely free. So here you can see the template that I picked and in my opinion it looks very good. So now you just want to go ahead and customize this and I'll show you some basic things on how you can do this. So first to actually change some text. You want to just click on it and then click on the text and now you can change whatever you want. So for example, if I want to change this to subscribe to my newsletter, for example, then I can just write that right here. Like this. And for example, if I want to remove this little part, I'll just hover over it with my mouse and click on the delete button right here. Then it will ask you, are you sure for me? Yes, I'll click OK. So now I've already customized this little part right here. Now here you can see that people can enter their email in order to book a free consultation. However, I don't want them to book a free consultation. So I'm going to change this right here. So I'm just going to click on it. And then you want to scroll down a bit until you see the bottom text right here. For me, this will be subscribe here, for example. Now I would like to change the font and color of this little text right here. So you can also do that right here. So you can choose the font type. You have Google fonts and a few more right here. And then here you can choose the actual font that it's using. So for example, if I change it to this one right here, then it will be changed. So for example, I will use this one right here. Now you can choose a font style. So basically how thick it is. So for example, I will pick this right here. And now for me, I want the text color to be something else. So just click on the text and I will make it purple. And now it's purple as you can see. Now for me, this little part right here needs to change as well because I'm trying to get people to subscribe to my newsletter. So for example, I write this. For example, if my newsletter is about AI tools, I can write something like this. Now I'm just going to split the sentence right here to make it look better. And now I've just customized this entire part. Now here you want to go ahead and upload your own logo. So you can see currently it's this image right here. In order to replace it, you can just click on delete right here. And now you can go ahead and upload your own logo right here. So click select file and I'll just upload my logo. For example, if this right here would be my logo, I can click 
upload. Now it works best if you have a transparent background logo. Now click insert because now you can see the white background right here. So it's best to have no background color for your logo. And now you can simply change the image size by using this slider right here. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And now this right here is also a button. So as you can see action when image is clicked, right now it's set to open URL. You can also set it to show pop-up, but I'll just keep it to open URL. Now here you have these sections right here, such as services, clients, about, resources, and let's discuss your project. Now when I click on preview right here, and I click on one of these options right here, such as about, it will not do anything because I don't have an about page. So what I'm going to do is remove this part since I don't need this. So just click on the delete icon right here and then click OK. And now that has also been removed. Now if you would like to change the background, for example, you can just click on the section background. And now here to open up the background, so you can choose a background color. And here you can also see the background image that it is currently set to. I kind of like this background, so I'll keep it like this. Now here, for example, in order to subscribe, they need to enter their email. If I also want to have their first name, then what I will do is hover over this with my mouse. And you can see this is the form input and just click on the duplicate button. And although here I want to collect the first name, so I'll click on it. And now here you can choose the input type. So for this, I'm going to select first name and I will also write first name right here. Now you can see these are very close together, so if I want to create some space in between these, I can click on the one at the top or the bottom, and then what you want to do is scroll down a bit until you see the margin right here, and if you choose the one at the bottom, you want to select the top margin and just slide this to the right a little bit, and now as you can see there is a tiny space in between it, so that makes it look a bit better, so I'm just going to increase it a little bit more like this. Now I've done this section of my landing page, but now you just want to go there and customize every single section. Now if you want to remove an entire section, you can just hover over the section where there are no elements, as you can see, and just click on delete and click OK. And now that entire section will be removed. Now for this section, as you can see, it has a white background. If I want to change this, just click on the section, then click background color right here. And now here I can set a background color to whatever I want. You can use the image picker right here and just pick your color. Now I like it as white, so I'm just going to keep it as white. Now if you want to change a text color, you want to just go and select the text you want to change the color of. And then here you'll see the current color. And now if I go ahead and change this to blue, for example, you can see that now it turns blue. Now you can just do this for every single part you want and of course go and customize this text. Now here you have some customer views so you can just customize these as well and make them your own. So just go ahead and customize the entire landing page for what you need it. And for example, right here, you have the social medias. Now, if I want to connect this to my Instagram, you can click on it. And then the action when image is clicked is open URL. Now here, just paste in your Instagram URL and then it will take them to your Instagram URL. So once you're done, click save changes in the top right. And I'll show you what happens when somebody fills in their information right here and where you can actually find this. So I'm just going to leave this landing page right now. And now I'll click view funnel right here. And now I'm just going to fill in my information right there. So I'll add my information here and then click subscribe here. And now it will say thank you. And now you also see you need to create a thank you page in order to make this look better. But now I'll just show you what happens with that information. So now right here, once I'm in my landing page, I can click on leads right here. And now here you will see the information I just added in. So now you have their email address right here. And when you click on their account, you will also see the first name they entered and any other information that you requested from them. So now when I head over to the contact section right here and click on contacts, you will now see the contact right here. Now you can select the contacts. And what you can actually do is click import contacts in the top right. And now you can import them however you want. So they will give you a CSV file with their information and then you can import your contacts into MailChimp for example. And here you will see the step-by-step -step process of what you need to do. So now you have collected their email through your landing page. So in order to connect my custom domain to this email, what you want to do is click on your profile picture in the top right and then click settings. And from here in the left tab, you want to click custom domains. Now here you can go and connect your custom domain. So click add domain in the top right and here enter your domain name. And now when I click save right here, 
you can see that now you need to do the DNS configuration for your domain. So in your domain hosting website, you want to add a C name where you add this right here. And you can read this article to learn how to set up a custom domain specifically. And then you can also choose the domain for your specific landing page. So now you know how to build a landing page with system.io. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.